repulsive of gravity. So gravity is different from other forces that way. The Higgs theory starts with this. Imagine a field that permeates the entire universe. And every particle uh, feels this field, is affected by this field, in different amounts. So some particles are really slowed down by interaction with this field, like you know, swimming through molasses, and other particles hardly feel it. So the ones that hardly feel it, they uh, have a small mass. The ones that are really affected by it, they couple strongly to this field, are slowed down a lot, they have large mass. So you turn the question of why do particles have different masses into a different question. Why do particles feel the Higgs field differently? But there is one manifestation of the field is the existence of this particle. So there's lots of different reactions that could give you the Higgs. For example, one is you could have two gluons diffuse, give you a Higgs boson, 